Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Dreams. Last episode we got the 5th gym badge, defeated Ashley and Haley who had a fire type and an ice type. Um, it was actually a pretty hard gym battle, we had to rely on Archbrook just to um, finish him off because he's just so, so OP. We rescued the Slowpoke from the Lunar Gang and now Victor has gone to fight Vincent on Route 13. I assume we're going to head to the Ruby Tower next. Also, I did a little bit of grinding, um, Blizzburn's 36, I'm going to lead off with Blizzburn this episode, start using him. And then uh, we got Smallfin as well last episode, which still needs a bunch of XP. I've been trying to do some grinding, it just takes such such a long time. So I'm hoping with XP share, this will be usable soon. And Blizzburn, I think it's roughly the level we should probably be, maybe slightly under leveled. I mean, the rest of the team is definitely over leveled, 100%. <laughs> They're just way too OP. But now we're going to head to Route... No, we're on Route 13. going to head to the Ruby Ascent and try and get the Ruby before um, Team Coil. And any trainers we are definitely going to battle for the XP. And okay, this is one Pokemon I've got to switch out with because uh, I cannot take that out with... Uh... Oh, what's it going? I keep thinking this name, dude. Blizzburn. I keep want to say like um, Blizzblast. I was like, it's definitely not Blizzblast. Anyway, go back into Blizzburn. And we can ember this bad boy. Nice. Oh, jump kick. Oh, we good, we good, we good. Nice and far-fetched. Um, it's risky. I can stay in. We learned Ice Beam. Oh, we're good, we're good. Because if I don't take that in one hit, it could potentially take me out. And that would uh, be pretty bad. And <laughs> pretty bad. All right, I'm pretty sure I have some potions I can use as well. Uh, I don't want to use my milks. Let's do that and then put the charcoal on as well. Some embers can do a little bit more damage. Kind of hoping we learn like flamethrower or something soon. That would be so nice. Alright, so going down there takes us back. You want to battle? Yes, you do. Achoo! Oh no, my allergies are acting up. I feel ya. Come around like end of March, beginning of April time. My hay fever just kicks in and then... I sneeze. I, I sneeze a lot in videos. I get it. I get it. But around like, I would say end of March earliest to end of August latest. Any videos recorded within that time period, I'm probably sneezing like two, three times per video. My heat fever suck, man. Actually, sometimes like it's not bad. Sometimes it's not bad. But then other times it's, it's like, sometimes I go one year, it's really, really bad. Next year, I don't get it. Next year after that, it's like, it's a little bit bad and then repeats itself, you know? Don't know what it is, but it happens. <laughs> That's kind of annoying. Uh, Cub Chew, we can just easily take care of an Ember. Nice, and one more Ember. There we go. That critical hit. Couldn't get out the, uh, the first one. There's Victor, hey! Faulty. We didn't stand a chance. He said he wasn't going to hold anything back. But I had no idea. Vinny, or Viper, whatever his name is. It was uh, Vincent, but his Pokemon battled so hard for him because they believe in him. He shouldn't be a bad man. So what happened? He ain't dumb. He knows he's hurting people. People like Mr. Cutter or the folks at Mount Orin. I don't think that's what he really wants at all. Faulty, we have to stop Team Coil. Not just for ourselves or the people they hurt, but to save people like Vinny and Lyra too. So, save them for themselves. I need to get stronger. I lost today. Got to make sure if I end up in a situation that really matters, it won't happen again. Faulty, I hate relying on family and friends to do things I ought to be able to do myself. But let me do it one more time. I'm going to go train. Going to get stronger, so I won't need anyone's help anymore. In the meanwhile, you go find Ruby, Ruby Tower. Got it, Faulty? I'm counting on you. Hey, to Ruby Tower, I'll see you again. Just the music as well makes it just so much more sadder. Oh, this is Route 13. I thought we were already on Route 13. Anyway, what's in this house here? I'm guessing you're gonna probably heal me up. Yes, you are. Thank you very much. That's nice. Also, I'm just gonna check my TMs. I don't believe I have a flame for. I think I have flame charge. Calm mind could. Oh, we can't learn it. I say like, could be kind of good. Um. Not really anything I should really teach anyone. I mean, there's a. We can change the moveset up on a few things a little bit, but to be fair, I kind of like the moveset I've got on a lot of Pokemon at the moment. 
Like, Arch Brooks, no, I'm not gonna change that at all. That moveset's too good. I'm gonna take you out, because easy, but oh, you would have sturdy, wouldn't you? The worst kind of Pokemon. And you're level 50 now, speaking of the devil. <laughs> Alright, well, let's continue on. Swablu, just gonna run away. Uh, let's check the Dex Nav. You can find all Dinos around here. That'd be a good idea to train, just like here, just keep searching for it. And we got three mysterious Pokemon still to find. Maybe we'll find them on the way back. Wait, hidden item? No hidden item, ah, oh, it sucks. So Ruby Ascent. Ooh. Dude, this like, I feel like every new area in this game was like some like battles against new trainers. I'm just like, ooh, music's good, man. Music's good. Oh wow, a minimal. Okay. I'm not sure if this thing evolves, but I'll capture it and maybe we can check the Pokedex in a minute. Freeze it. Oh, I'll just take it out. Okie dokie. <laughs> uh, let me heal up. Do I have like a normal super or fresh water will do? There you go. Right, anything else? Oh, bronzo. We'll take you out. Maybe we won't. I'm going to run away because I don't want you doing too much damage to me. Be kind of annoying. So in case you missed last episode, uh, Blizzburn does not evolve, unfortunately. I feel like it, it looks like it should evolve, but I, I still like it enough to keep on the team. It's, it's kind of cute. And Fire Ice type is pretty sweet as well. Oh no, I will take you out because we're level 38 if we beat you. Ooh, a critical hit. Nice. Anything up here? Oh, okay. What do we have here? Ooh. Hmm? There's a note attached to the item. Read the note. My name is Rodas. I lived here in order of an order of monks. We were known as the Ruby Order. Our fathers lived here, as did their fathers, and so on. All of our lives, we were told that we had a purpose. Within the tower is a treasure, our elders told us. A treasure that binds a great power. If the treasure is taken from the tower, disaster will follow. You must protect the tower's treasure with your lives. Since I grew up with this uh, rhetoric, I believed their words. But as I grew older and wiser, I began to question my role. No one had ever tried to take the tower's treasure. Was it really as important as the elders had said? Was the treasure even real? The others had uh, no such doubts. They decided to shun me. For a while, I remained. I still couldn't bring myself to leave my home or my people. One day, our village was struck by tragedy. The very earth shook beneath our feet, and stones hurtled down from the mountains above. It was comparable to the calamity that ended the uh, Sapphire Order centuries ago. I was the only survivor. All my life, I was told that our order was protecting the world from disaster. What was it that killed my people, if not disaster? I no longer see any reason to remain here. Instead, I am living on a journey, to seek a new purpose in life. To any who seek the tower's treasure, I leave the key to Ruby Tower. Live well and prosper, Rodas. Okay. Yeah, I'll take the, the um... Oh, strength, okay. You uh, could probably take a rest here if you like. Okay. Yeah, why not? Not bad. Well, let me put auto run on as well, so that just saves me holding B all the time. Can rest my hand a little bit. Ooh, okay. So we can walk on top of this. Anything we can grab? Yes, there is. We got Rock Slide. Not bad. Already have Rock Slide on Large Brook, but I mean, it's still good. I have an item here as well. Spell Tag. I keep getting like items or TMs that I don't need or I already have on Pokemon. <laughs> but Ruby Tower, this place is looking pretty cool. Oh, the Lunar Gang's here. Out of my way, run. Oh, okay. That was unnecessary, but. Yeah, that's right. You better run. But what? Hey! You're the trainer from Centralis, and Route 5, and outside the Echo Glades. Ah, you're trying to mess with our plans again, aren't you? Come on, let's fight. Bring it on. Alright, uh, our buck, we will Ice Beam. Not bad damage. Oh, my bomb does some damage. A small thing, level 24. Slowly getting there. Slowly getting there. Uh, Electros, I probably should switch. Um, let's go Drakeon. And we'll go for an Outrage. Got a critical hit. Nice. And Onyx, if we go... Nah, I can't risk that. Uh, let's go Smolfin. If I can live one attack. Oh, we avoided the attack! Let's go! Come on, and again. 
Just gotta land, live one attack. Oh, my little small fin taking out level 40 Onyx. Let's go. At this point, it's hard for me to even be mad. This is basically just my life now. You're after the ruby, right? Well, from the top of this tower. The Anaconda's making her way there as we speak. <laughs> All I did was waste your time. And with that, I'm out. Hey, see ya. Uh oh. Ah, you, Foxy. No, no, shift your Pokeballs, please. Oh, okay. My name is. No, I shall inform you only of my code name. I am Looker, an agent of the International Police. A man by the name of Conifer informed us of your name. You also alerted us of an imminent assault on this historical site. So I've been spying on Team Coil's operations here in Ruby Tower. They are led by a woman by the name of Anaconda. It seems they have bought a very large group. It is clear that, to them, this mission is of great import. But they are foolish. For they have uh, cornered themselves within Ruby Tower. I must report my findings to my colleagues. We will, cut out, we will cut off Team Coil's escape and take them under arrest. Faulty, my partner in justice. You must stay here and occupy Team Coil. Keep them in Ruby Tower until our main force can arrive. And above all else, do not let them escape with the Ruby. I will try. I place my faith in you. Now then, I bid you adieu. Alright, see you, dude. Right, so we're gonna have to teach a Pokemon strength, aren't we? Ah, oh, I hate teaching Pokemon HMs. Um, I'm, so, I'm sorry, Drakeon, dude. I don't want to teach you HMs, but you're coming a HM slave now, which... Ugh. Oh, has to happen. Alright, let's push this. Wait, let's push this this way in case I need this to come down here or something. So those who show true strength, the path appears, okay. Yeah, so I need to bring this... Oh, okay, just reset. Bring this across. There we go. Nothing down there. And up we go. Might have to keep like coming in and out of this place to heal up. But uh, we, we might be alright for a little bit. See, at this point as well, like, I don't know what does more damage. Like, Ice Beam's obviously stronger, but we've got Charcoal on, so would Charcoal make Ember stronger? Like, I don't know how much of a boost... Oh, okay, that does a lot more damage. I don't know how much of a boost um, Charcoal actually gives. But the moment we learn Flamethrower, whoo, that's gonna be nice. Um, I'm assuming we just need to do this. Can I, like... Oh, if I push you this way. And like so. Nice. Hey, what's up? No mercy. All right. See how it is. Oh, kind of want to go for an ice beam there, but I'm going to switch out because I don't fancy dying. And then we'll just go for a drain punch. So right now, I, I don't fit any trainer in this game, because Archbrook is just, he's too good, man. Not just the, like, the moveset, but I feel like his stats are pretty good or something. It just, it just seems so broken. Right, gonna have Dunsparce so for this, we can have a nice draw run. Oh, okay, it's all good, it's all good. Let's go for a bite. Hey, so I've got level 50, and for it, we will go Archbrook, just go drain punch, and after this, I'll heal up um, Blizzburn. I was gonna say Blizz Blast again. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Yo! We've gone this far, we can't lose now. Oh, I'm afraid, uh, I'm afraid you will. Actually, maybe not. Not with a superior. Ooh, look at that damage! Okay, maybe you will. You can coil up, it's all good. And we're level 40 now. Flamethrower! There we go! Let's go! Now we'll be doing the damage. Frostlass, okay. Or Charcoal and Flamethrower. This is definitely the... Ooh, okay. The best option we got. And we one-shot you. Yeah, love to see it. Nice. Alright, now we're talking. Hi. All aboard the paint train. Sounds fun. Nice. And Metacham, just keep Flamethrowering. Dragon... Okay. Dragon Claw's fine. I was hoping you wouldn't go for, like, high jump kick or something. Because that would have... That would have really hurt. Alright, so let's start pushing you. Don't know where I need to take you, but 
I'm assuming it's through the middle of that. Uh, no, that's a dead end. Wait, I can't take you through that, can I? Huh. I'm. Oh wait, there's two. Okay, yeah, I must be taking you this way. Right, so if I go push you up, wait, what? Okay, not, oh, I thought I could do, oh, okay, I messed up. I thought I could go through that little bit. So in that case, let's quickly reset this puzzle. And we're going to have to do it a different way. So the way we're going to do it then is if we, wait, can we just push you? Oh no, because we can't push you up after that. So we want to push you then. Yes, yeah, so we want to push you up to here. We push you up. To here. Then we go round like that. And then, we, okay, yeah, I see, I see. I had the right idea the first time, it just, um, I thought I could go through one of the bits, but clearly I couldn't. So we push you across. I can get through this little bit here, yeah? Yeah, so I push you to the very top. And then I go round. Oh, wait, no. I need to push you down, I need to push you through here, I can't, oh, no. Okay. Ah, my bad. Right. Third time the charm. Third time the charm. Alright, so let's push you up. We push you across and then we... Yes, yeah, so we, do, we do the same thing, but this time we push you down. Here. And then we push you across. There we go. All good. Ooh. Yo, have you seen those creepy messages all over the walls? This place gives me the heebie-jeebies. I should probably go read it. I thought they would say the same thing. Right. Uh, let's go flamethrower. Headbutt. Oh, critical hit. You suck. All right. We'll go heal up after this. 100%. Just hoping the puzzles don't reset. I doubt they would. If we sold them once. Alright, we'll circle up and we'll go for a nice Volt Switch. And then we can, oh no, let's go back in. <laughs> not sure if that gives it a little bit more XP, I'm not sure, but... What does this say? The Serpent was very powerful. He who saw it, saw our skies, revered it as a god. Oh, okay. Right, let me go heal up. I'll see you guys back here in a second. Alright, we're back and thankfully the puzzles, um, they reset but the doors stay open, so it's, it's all good. So you're that trainer everyone's been talking about, eh? Show me what you can do. I can do uh, quite a lot, actually. Ooh, especially against this. Well, you're going to have sturdy, aren't you? Oh, you're the worst. But it's fine, because you're not going to explode, so I do not care. Uh, we should get rid of a water gun for that. Gyarados, we will go into Sokok, and we will go for a nice Volt Switch. Ooh. Easy. Oh, it's evolving, yay! Now I'm hoping this thing can evolve one more time, because this thing looks cute, and the evolution looks really good. But again, I just feel like, there's so many Pokemon in this game I just feel like could have, will look like they should have one more evolution. Like, that looks so cute, but I feel like this could have like another evolution, it just looks bigger. Like a, maybe like a bigger tail and, I don't know, I just, I feel like it looks like it should have another evolution. Might just be me, but, oh okay, this puzzle's looking... Wait, what? What's this over here? Right. So we cannot get that boulder to there, so it's got to be over this way. Rightio, so let's start things off by doing this. So I'm going to push you up. Don't want to push you into the corner? I do not. So I need to push you this way. 
And I need to go like so. Easy. Then what happens after I do this? Wait, do I want to go this way? Yeah. So we've been waiting too long for this. We can't just stop us now. Uh, don't think you have a choice, lady. Don't think you have a choice, but I've got a switch. You can stop the rain if you want. I'm just going to go straight for a pedal storm. Good enough to one-shot you. Oh, righty then. Okay. Um, right. I think this is like the only thing I can do, right? So if I go... Oh, I need to bring one with me. In that case... Is there enough room? Yeah. Oh, that was, that was lucky. <laughs> For a second, I did not think I needed to actually do that, but a train of them. Maybe this should be a relaxing diversion. But now I'm starting to think I might need to bring a ooh, another boulder down with me to push down the thing and then we can push it across. We'll see. Double edge, uh, that'll be good. Lantern, let's go to Sircock and then we'll go for a pedal storm. Also, I want to probably check the Pokedex as well. Just because I think potentially. Our new Pokemon can evolve, maybe. Because, like... We've got... Oh, it's a water dragon type? Oh, it's definitely got to evolve again, then, surely. So, yeah, I think I want to maybe... Can I put a boulder down here? No, I can't. Because you can't push it up after. So, we can't take a boulder down there. We can do this one, though. Follow it down. That okay. That takes us here. So, what does the other drop down take us? I wonder. Uh, do we want to go up this way? Yeah, it's got to be this way. So we've uh, been ordered to slow you down as much as we can. I'm sorry, but you'll need to battle me. I'm down for that. Ice beam. I need to heal up again, though. Do after this battle. Our block will go into Dunsparce. Go for a nice drill run. One more draw run, finish you off. Fantastic, right, let's get healed up. Uh, oh no. I might have to start using my Moomoo Milks. I don't really want to use them, but... Oh well. We spared the serpent's life, but sealed away its power. Only when the stones of the towers are re reunited will the world again witness its true form. Ooh. Can't see this, like, like, sky snake Pokemon. That's very interesting. Nice. And no dynamite. Flamethrowers! You can intimidate me all you like, it does not matter, because I'm going for special attacks, dude. So, um. Yeah. Sucks to be you. <laughs> oh, what is. Going on here. Hi. Oh, hello there, you little rat. You knew you'd be here sooner or later. It's not like you to miss a chance to get under my skin. But look, the ruby is missing. Where? Oh, where could it be? I wonder, I wonder. <laughs> oh, please. Don't be so daft as to think I don't know. I'm merely toying with you. You see, we only stayed here to distract you. I'm sure you saw a member of the Lunar Gang on your way here, correct? Well, while you're wasting your time battling us, he took the ruby to Cobra and... Oh, that was smart. In Eclipse City. Oh, but don't worry. Because I'll be happy to replace your self loathing with intense pain. You see, as part of my little trap, I discovered and mastered an unthinkable battling technique. In other words, I'm essentially invincible. More invincible than before, anyway. I've been waiting for this. Let's get started, shall we? Oh, okay. We discovered a unstoppable battling technique, eh? Oh. <laughs> His face is adorable. I'm guessing you're... Oh, you're a mega! Oh, snap. You look kind of cool. And you're going for dig. Uh, I'm going for ice beam. I think we can take a dig. I was wrong. We cannot take a dig. And you got Moxie. Okay, I'm not messing around. Dig again all you want. It's all fine. Another 
bulk up. You're gonna dig, so I'm gonna bulk. Oh, you're gonna. Okay, that's fine. And then drain punch. Give me that HP back. Thank you very much. So you gotta be ground poison type then, right? Hey, level 52, sweet. And Tangrowth. Yeah, we can stay in, why not? We've got the bulk ups. Might as well. See? You might have thought you were invincible because you you found Mega Revolution. I have Archbrook. And I just have to go for a few bulk ups and then I'm unstoppable. So, um, yeah. In your face. Oh, you got a fairy type? It don't matter. I just rock slide. Critical hit. Let's go. And a Luxray. That's yeah, all good. No, a rock slide. See? You can't beat me. I'm just too good. I'm just too good, man. No matter what, you still lose. Really? You're really saying that when my Archbrook is literally sweeping your team? Sad. So sad. <laughs> oh my goodness. Impossible. Even though I used my special Anaconda Evolution, I still lost. Mm-hmm. Ah, you, you impudent... Oh, do you ever make my blood boil? No, but I suppose it doesn't matter. That ruby should be in Cobra's hands in Eclipse City by now. And with the keystones I discovered there, Team Coil is stronger than ever. We'll rule this pathetic region. And not only not and I'll not only be beautiful and intelligent, but rich and famous too. So what I'm saying is, you've still lost. Ha! You're mistaken. Hey. Your villainy shall never prevail. Not now, watch. Voltsy, you've done well. But we will handle this from here. Anaconda, is it? You're under arrest. As if. Do you fools really think you can take me? I'll be going now. See you never. Oh. You fiend after her. Oh. Okay. And they're going to stay there, I guess. Ooh. Ooh. So long, losers. Foxy, look her. Oh. Hey, Conifer. I'm glad I caught up to you. Listen, there's thing I've got to tell you. I've got beans to spill. It's... Ah! It's you. <laughs> long time. Uh, no see, Calvin. Hold. Professor Conifer, you know this one? Uh, no, her. We work together. Back at the Institute. Back when I was researching the Sky Snake Pokemon. The towers. All of it. She stole my research and left me. Years of progress lost. Years of trust broken. You, you were my partner. I, I thought we had something special. But you threw it away. Oh, quiet yourself, Calvin. Do you really blame me? Why would I stay with a freak like you? Besides, you were holding me back. If you want to get ahead in life, you have to be willing to do anything to make it happen. I'd sooner work with someone like Garda who understands that. Now then, if you're done making a fool of yourself, I'll be going. So long. Wait, Anna! Oh. That's sad. Professor Conifer. I'm sorry. If only it had been faster, I could have brought her to justice. I failed my duties as an agent of the International Police. No, bud. It's not your fault. When Anna betrayed me, I was devastated. She isn't afraid to hurt others if she thinks it will benefit her. For a while, she had me worried that everybody else fought that too. I was nervous to be around my friends and co-workers. So I left the Institute and went to Centralis to work all alone. But you know what? If that really is the, uh, the world we live in. It's only because people like her made it that way. And if that's the world this Garda believes in as well, well, I need to do everything I can to stop them. The International Police thanks you for your support, Professor. Now then, you said you had important information to share with us? Oh yeah, the thing! That thing! Oh. Foltsy, have you ever heard of Meg Revolution? It's an old technique where a Pokemon temporarily evolves during battle. And you have? Coolio! And Anna was using it? Not Coolio. Team Coil is able to harness Meg Revolution? Of this you are sure, Foltsy. Anna had lots of time to study the Sapphire before us. She must have already figured it out. I analyzed the Sapphire and found that it constantly emits energy. The energy is similar to the energy found in Mega Stones. So it is possible that the Sky Snake Pokemon is simply a more powerful form of another Pokemon. Possible, works, but my word of choice would be likely. That said, I have no clues what Pokemon its base form might be. It's gotta be a uh, dunce boss then. Either way, if Team Coil is using Mega Revolution, then we'll want to have Mega Revolution of our own. That's what I was thinking at least. So I got in touch with my buddy Herbert, and I got him to get in touch with one of his gym leader buddies. He's a guy named Lawson, lives in Solar View Port. Lawson's a sailor and he's been all over and learned about all sorts of things. He knows all about Mega Revolution. So anyway, Lawson agreed to hook us up. Thought that you should go meet him at Solar View Port. Herbert says he lives near the gym. 
No, and I'll talk to Victor too. Maybe Lawson can show both of you the uh, the ropes. See you around. Hey. I'll begin questioning the uh, coil peons that we apprehended. That ruby, we must learn of its location. Uh, Quelly, uh, Fus I no, I can't speak French. Uh, my apologies. For a moment, I, I had lost myself. You say Anaconda told you that the ruby is in Eclipse City? I do not like this. It may yet be another trap. That treacherous lunar gang controls the entire city. You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. At this point, the international police have given up on retaining order there. If you do go, you must be cautious. I will continue to gain whatever information I can to aid you. Until then, adieu. Hey, you see you, dude. Alright, uh... The fastest way out will probably be using escape rope. Hey, nice. Alright, uh, let's get healed up. Because we desperately need to. And I think it's probably a great place to end this episode off. Next episode, I guess we head to Eclipse City first. Which isn't too far. It's going to head down Route 13 and then go through Eclipse Tunnel to Eclipse City. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Man, I'm really enjoying this game. Have a great day. Peace.